Marwadi shares in finance joining us on the show to elaborate upon that itself. Jay, good afternoon. A very good afternoon to you, Mangalam. And uh, yes, you know, as far as the index is concerned, you rightly pointed out that on the upside, uh, 18,200 on the immediate basis is a clear cut resistance. I mean, there is where we are seeing good amount of, you know, options writing. And uh, on the downside, 18,000 put. Now, that's uh, clearly indicating that that could be a short term. Uh, support for the index at least for a day or two and uh, hence the range for the index for nifty i would say would be 18000 to uh, 18200 and uh, 18000 technically too i believe that is a very crucial support uh, you know, mangalam because that is the level uh, beyond which we are not seeing nifty in fact surpassing those levels 18000 to 18100 and post which we saw nifty in fact inching towards the levels of 18400 plus now is revisiting those levels retesting those levels so 18000 would be crucial to Watch out for going forward. Uh, once those levels are tested, I think, you know, uh, there at least one can review whether to, you know, uh, check for the reversals from down to up. If at all 18,000 levels aren't held, then we can see further pain uh, till the levels of 17,800. As far as the bank nifty is concerned, uh, that's a bit, you know, that's in, that. That's the index which is a bit resilient, I would say, comparatively. And uh, that's showing some strength at the lower levels. I believe that 42,000. Uh, is the immediate support out there <clears throat> and on the upside 42,500 I mean that's the clear cut resistance as far as the derivatives data is also concerned so the range for nifty bank is 42,000 to 42,500 and mainly we have been seeing that nifty PSU bank index is you know trading with good amount of momentum and that's the uh, place where you know we are seeing good uh, action by the bulls so I, I believe that index might trade within this range of 200 points on nifty and 500 points on uh, the bank nifty and until and unless we don't get a meaningful breakout from this range, uh, we can continue to see this sideways uh, move. Hence, I have one long and one uh, short idea. Uh, the short idea is on uh, TVS motors. I mean, you know, after a long time, I'm actually recommending a short on TVS. I was trading it around the levels of 1053 on the spot. Uh, one can, you know, place a stop loss at 1094 on the upside and, uh, you know, target the levels of 1003 to 980 on the downside i think that you know we are seeing some good unwinding out here on the long side and the momentum has also weakened and we have seen a breakdown from an uptrend line uh, support as well so based on these technical and derivatives parameters i believe that tvs motors is likely to see some further profit booking as well and as far as you know the longs are concerned uh, mangalam i have a buy recommendation on hindustan Unilever. after a you know, good amount of correction I, I see a good reversal on its momentum indicators and it has confirmed uh, the breakout from its previous swing resistance as well so it's treating it around the levels of 2510 actual can be bought for a target of 2560 and thereafter 2590 and one can place a stop loss at 2470 Okay, all right, Jay. Uh, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that's Jay Thakkar.